Daisy one hour loop run. We're on uh, Spaggy's Vanilla Green, I believe. So it's as close to playing on official as you'll get. The reason I'm doing it on Spaggy's is it is super duper 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 vanilla. But because it's community, you're not going to get the cheaters. That's the character we got, and we've spawned in Berezino. If you get this spawn, you look down there, see the lighthouse, we've spawned in Berezino. So, if I get this spawn, my preference is to go from Berezino to Gorka. That's the plan. The server's half full, so during this first hour, I could get killed. <laughs> We might have to respawn and retry and see how far we can get with whatever little time is left on our run. But for all intents and purposes, that's the plan. Loot up middle Berezino. This is what I would call the part we're walking into now. That would be a lower Berezino. You move to upper Berezino. And then you move on to Gorka. <laughs> from Gorka you're not very far at all from Novi Stari and all, all the good shit and from there you're not far from VMC, Vibor, Northwest Airfield so this is a loop run or a directional run if you like for those that want to get inland quick so if you're completely super duper new to the game you might want to spend a bit more time in Berezino you might want to go to Kelm you might want to go to Kelm summer camp but if you've got a few hundred hours in the game, or over a thousand hours in the game, we'll go with that for the sort of camo colour. Then you're probably going to want to get inland quick. You're going to want to get away from the spawn town because of the potential of dying to other flashes, people who might want to take your shit, but you've been lucky enough to get off you. That's rotten so we don't eat that but we take the bottle the water bottle's cool we immediately empty it so we don't accidentally drink poo water saves us time when we eventually get to the well we're looking for food we're looking for cans of soda beer we're looking for better clothing we're looking for a melee weapon we're looking for a knife there we go. We can't open that yet, but that's a fantastic find. That's huge, straight off the bat. If we find a gun this early in your life, bonus. We can always, hopefully, make it to the PD. Will you get over the fence, son? But as you spawn just off these few houses, I think it would be a wasted opportunity not to loot them. As you see, we picked up the can of peaches. We picked up a battered hat and a a water bottle so far. I don't do motorcycle helmets because the muffle it, it implements to your voice, it gives you voice, will get you killed because people can't understand what you're saying. I know it annoys the shit out of me. But watch the specific direction I go after this house, okay? I've seen a toilet block ahead and they can spawn ammo and knives, so I'm gonna search the toilet block if I can. I'm surprised there's nothing in that house. We like the toilet blocks, just from experience. The house is right next to it, we might as well go in. But I think someone just missed the can of peaches, but they spawned where we spawned not too long ago. All right, we'll take a sewing kit to repair clothing, etc. But we're not gonna go down there. That leads towards lower Berezino. Whereas we want to go to middle and then upper Berezino, as I said. Take out this Zed. You never know, we might get lucky like we did with Water Bottle Lady. No, nothing. Then head straight across this field. Now it's up to you. Like, we haven't got anything to open the peaches with, so we, need, we haven't got a melee weapon. We're only using our fists. So personally, we do need to be dipping into sheds and or buildings. And if we come across a zombie along the way 
Particularly one that has a rucksack that might not be ruined. Hello? I'm trying to hit her in the head so I don't ruin the backpack. No, nope, it was only damaged, so that's excellent. Nothing in the greenhouse. Double toilet block next to a shed. Could be good. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Not getting much luck here. No fruit under the trees. Maybe someone hasn't walked past this route then. And notice how I'm not going into every house. I'm only going into the house that is pretty much on the way. Collar dress. We'll take the alcohol. I'm not going right, I'm going into there, I'm going into there, I'm going into there, I'm going into there. I'm only specifically targeting toilet blocks, houses if we literally like walk straight in front of them. And sheds, because that's when we're more likely to get blades. There we go. We've got our fruit still, but and we probably will eat the fruit actually, because I'm not I'm not planning on stopping and cooking up chicken or fishing. Because this is just literally showing you the direction I'm going. Rather than if I was going to do a long run. <laughs> well, there's fruit, so someone has been through here. Indication of player activity. Fruit spawning. If you're lucky, it won't be rotten. But that one is. We'll take the spawner mag just for the 22 that's inside. And... Um, we swerve in those four Zs <laughs> for very, very obvious reasons. Make sure you check the trunks of cars. Items often spawn in those. That's what we're looking for. The hunting shop. Which is bang in the middle of what I call middle Berezina. You might get lucky because it's in a spawn town near the coast. Very, very unlikely you will find anything of major use but that's of major use another blade so now we're set we've got two bladed items a saw and a sickle and we have oh i nearly created an armband there by accident I often do that with the flags scroll down one with your middle mouse wheel and it will change to rags and off a flag You'll get six pristine rags, out of which we're going to make improvised hand wraps so we don't get bloody hands if we cut up an animal or a person. They can also act then as backup bandages because we've got the alcohol to disinfect them. And we'll do it now in advance in case we go through our half a bandage quicker than you'd like. All right. Bin that. There's another flag, but it's damaged, badly damaged, so we don't want badly damaged rags. Just keeping an eye up the road. And see, I'm not, I'm not dipping into every house. Now I've got two blades. There's a couple of houses at the top of the road that are en route, and I just do it out of habit, really. I tend to hit the houses because I've done this run hundreds of times now I'll tend to go on past experience like oh I once found something good in there in that house so I'm going to go in that house if we come across a player part of your first hour of your life you have to make a decision if they're openly aggressive towards you then you've got to either run or fight simple as that if they're not openly aggressive because it's a community server got more chance of them talking in my experience so you know you might make a friend you might decide to go on an adventure with them you might look at them as someone who's a lot more geared than you you could really use their gear so why not befriend them with a view to betraying them perhaps or you might just straight up attack them if you feel you have the upper hand and the opportunity but bear in mind we can only pull a sickle on someone We'd have to get a good couple of power hits in first to make it worthwhile. Right, while we're walking up the road doing nothing else, I'm just going to eat the apple. And I'm eating all the food we've got on us out of spite. 
because I don't want to give it to anybody if they kill us. We've picked up a sickness because our clothing is absolutely shite. And if you remember, that's what happened in the first loop, loop run, one hour loop run video. And as soon as we got our food and water up to white, the sickness went away, even though our clothing did not improve. Well, didn't improve much anyway. But because I'm showing you the quickest route from A spawn to B destination, in this case it's Middle Berezino on the coast, with a view to go into Gorka, and being in the thick of the action, part of the map where you know a lot of shit goes down on most servers, and also because it's on the way to a lot of nice places. We've now got a zombie killer. I mean, you could potentially headshot someone with an MK2 as well. There's no magazine for it. But we might as well chamber a bullet. I said about having an early gun. We're in the white for food and the peaches and the apple have put us in the white for food and drink. We haven't touched the well yet. We have a bottle. When you get up here, we'll go through the points of interest. I would do in I'll be doing them in a specific order if we were gonna go to Gorka. Right. We've aggroed a few Zeds. I'm actually gonna use the sickle on this fucker. The reason being the saw puts them down a bit slower. The sickle is a lot quicker in my experience. Two hits. Three, usually maximum three. Getting a bit choppy there. Almost as if there's a base nearby or something. There are base building is allowed on this. So when you come up the road, check the guard shack. That would be my advice. And if you come down this street, you can see the police station immediately. Okay. Denim shorts are not going to suit my guy. Again, out of out of perhaps habit, I always tend to come in here. Sometimes you find a lot of jeans for some reason in those. We're not going to go down there. Those are the Zeds. Didn't find much in there. Some more food. Beautiful. A lot of chill Zeds. PD door, front door is closed, so you've got to be wary. I would always shut it behind me. Check the back. Back's locked, so both were locked. Both were shut. So there's a chance someone could be in here. A Glock. Trying to listen for movement upstairs. Can't hear any. Now you're talking. Pumpy with a couple of shots in it. So I'm going to assume now no one's in here. Only, it is a dangerous game to play, but the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm thinking, why would they leave? I can understand leaving the M lock because it's damaged, but why would they leave the Pumpy? Our food and water's dropped back down to yellow, which isn't going to help our recovery from sickness. So eat this, liver patty. Scorpion, no mag on it though. Not really interested. I've got a pumpy now. Take the 380 though, you never know. Might find an IJ, we can ditch the M lock. So we got a pumpy out of it, we got some ammo, we got a damaged M lock. Not terrible, we got a new jacket. Food back up to white. But if this was a, a playthrough where you're like, I want to keep this guy alive as long as possible. I want to try and go up right up north to Tizzy, for example. Then I'd be looted more thoroughly for food. I'd maybe be catching some chickens with a view to making a fire to give the sickness a good chance of going away with, with the buff. What I'm trying to do, like I did with the first loot run, is demonstrate that if all goes perfectly well, 
and you do get lucky with food, you can get rid of a sickness just by staying on top of your vitals. But sometimes you don't get lucky with the food drops. And you have to go sort of the old-fashioned way, which is medication, get in front of a fire. You know, literally heal yourself that way. But, uh, you know. As we're next to the hospital. Maybe we're going to get lucky. A little tent there. Nurse Ratchet. <laughs> Deal with Nurse Ratchet first. Keep the blade out, because that ain't the last fight we're going to have here. Took an unnecessary hit there, but... We had to get in there quick, because we knew this... Strange looking individual was lurking. They sometimes drop gas filters, so if you're looking on doing a NBC run, always kill and search them. We've got the blurred vision from the sickness, so. A couple more rounds for the pumpy. Put them in your gun straight away. Why would you hold them? When your gun's not full, get it full. As full as possible, anyway. Right, let's deal with this idiot, because he's going to haunt the life of us otherwise. Can you go down, please? Tank? Tanky McZed face. Another water bottle. We won't uh, disturb that chap over there. And then we quickly loop the hospital. I'm only going to take what I want. I'm not going to pick up blood bags or things you might need for NBC runs. If you're going to be a loot goblin, whatever. Take it all, but we're only going to take bandages, IV start kit, in case we find a saline bag. Then if we lose blood, we can regenerate our blood quicker by popping that in our veins. Codeine, if we get clipped, injured, that will help us heal. And I'm only going to check the first floor corridor of this hospital where I know sometimes some of the tasty stuff like chlorine tabs will spawn in clothing <laughs> but we're going to get out of dodge we're going to go to the well because that's going to be the quickest way of getting our water up to white check this car <coughs> excuse me severely wow oh there's a gas mask don't sleep on scaffolding as well scaffolding next to hospitals and police police departments will spawn hospital and police loot and a lot of the times <coughs> you'll miss vital stuff like tetracycline which will now fight our cold if you don't search <coughs> these areas all right it was only the tetra but that those three tetra pills will probably get rid of this sickness will certainly help massively to do so Alright, sir. Calm yourself. <laughs> Little Millie tent. I'm not even hoping for a gun or anything here. I'm just hoping for better clothing. Alright. 545 five ammo for the SSG or an AK. Some 45. We'll take it. We'll nip to the well. And in this position. Yellow food, yellow water. You're gonna, you're gonna fix your water now because you're by the well. But you're not gonna fix your hunger, are you? And unlike the first loot run, where we quite quickly found the capability to fish, rope and bones, etc. This one we haven't been as lucky, so we are gonna have to search some more houses before we go towards war. And we're only 20 minutes in to our life. So time is not an issue. We've got the tetracycline working in our system, fighting against this illness. But we're going to need food to accompany it, supplement it. Otherwise it's going into a starving body, a cold body as well, because of the clothing, the fact it's raining, we're getting wet. And look how much I'm filling up with the water while we've got the opportunity. I'm going to drink until we get the, the symbol, the bottom right. 
but my stomach is full. Now we're going to search some houses for some food, better clothing. Because we're ahead of schedule in terms of our time frame. To be honest, I do prefer the double barrel to the pumpy. Got a bit of a mixture of ammo going on here. Keep it on single shot. Hoodie gives better insulation than the police jacket. And this is the same amount of uh, 10 slots less, but we've got our backpack, so not too worried about that. We'll leave that pumpy for someone. Someone can have a nice surprise when we move past. Carry on looting these buildings. Let's see if we can get lucky with some food. Bit of 22 for the MK2 we've got. Clothing. Another flare to light a fire with. Always handy. Let's sort of zigzag across this street. Search all the houses on both ends. We'd be extremely unlucky if we didn't find any food in any of them. Can happen. It's Daisy, it's vanilla, but we have got a bit unlucky so far in the fact that we haven't found anything to fish with. That could have been an option then, see? That's huge, sharpening stone. Because as your blades are getting manky and used, dilapidated, you can use the sharpening stone to improve them from badly damaged to damage, from damage to worn, etc. And that's as high as it will go. It won't go any higher than worn, but there's some food. Marvellous. Pajka, but better than nothing. Leather kit, if we do get a stab vest that's damaged, we can fix it up. We're going to have to deal with this. A lady. Where's our bandage? Why isn't that? Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, where's our gun? We switched to me. Hello, how you doing? Any food for me? A can of beans or something would be nice. I'm not gonna lie. Nope. Okay. We're gonna drop our handsaw. Because we found a pitch for, which in my opinion is one of the best melee weapons in the game. Particularly for killing Zeds. We're still on the sort of unlucky side when it comes to the loot. Let's check the uh, the food. Let's check the beige. We did get a pajka. Collar dress. If it was pristine, we could cut it up for rags. Another sewing kit. We'll say why not to the sewing kit. What I'm going to do, because we've got two, I'm going to fix our beanie up to warm, because that will give us much better insulation then. Watch our temperature improve. The arrow's going up already. Patch it up from damage to worn, and it will give us high insulation, I believe, or even best. What? Medium. When it stops raining, we'll be able to um, wring our clothes out, and that will help. But anyway, we fixed the beanie up. <laughs> Check the red still to get ready to fight the numerous sets that are going to aggro on us in a sec. A shirt. Now, I might get lucky with the Z drops. I mean, look at that, the soda. Good start. Uh, rotten pepper, shame. Sweetheart. Oh. Crackers, they're not great, but they're better than nothing. Stay out of the rain a minute. Eat the crackers. Drink the soda, which gives you hydration and calorific intake as well. So both arrows would go up above the apple and the, the bottle. Oh, maybe a 
a bit of a challenge for us here. Not really. Pretty standard. I'm thinking I can see something at the top of that road. Oh, a bit of fruit. A uh, bit of, well, it is a fruit, yeah. Dried tomato. More we can get in us now. The pill has worn off as well. See the tetracycline, the pill has gone from our HUD. So we eat the tomato. Pop another tetra. Still got one left. Doing our best. Doing our best. Two houses on this row. Then we gotta make a decision. Fix up our clothes. We're doing well for utility type items. More ammo for the gun. Oh yeah, we've only got the double barrel now. I was gonna put it in our pumpy fill up, but no. Food white. Clothing damp. Still raining, so it almost seems pointless drying off because we're just gonna get wet again. Oops, anything inside the clothing there? Nope. So. Okay. We have a chicken. Now we know this chicken <laughs> is gonna give us not just food, it's gonna give us the ability to fish. Okay, so we know it's huge. We're going to take a massive gamble. I wouldn't do this normally. Just for the sake of saving time. I'm going to get the bones and the steak. Just in the middle of the field, as you do. Just praying to be sniped. <laughs> and I'm going to walk all the way down here. Looting up these houses. Because, again, we're still above schedule. If you were thinking, I, I would ideally like to get to Gorka in the first hour. We're still above schedule. I'm not taking that. I'm going to keep the pitchfork. It's, it's just a preference thing, that is. No food in there. Yeah. With a shotgun, we could shoot a deer. If we saw one, we could creep up to it, blast it. Particularly with the rifled slugs, you can get a bit of distance between yourself and the animal. Be a bit stealthy. K18. Nah, not for the purposes of what we're doing on the loop run, but maybe if it was pristine, if we'd already picked up some ammo for, for it, we maybe well, we would have picked it up then if we had 7x39 on us, but we haven't. A couple more houses around here. Look at the stuff we picked up in half an hour, okay? All right, we're still sick, I'll give you that. Our vitals will go down to yellow again soon if we don't put something in our gob, food-wise. Pause. But we have got the chicken to fall back on. Abundance of 22 for our MK2 now. Oh shit, talking of abundances. taking that. Fuck me. Where do you spring from? <coughs> Bloody woman. Oh, there is a deer up there. Okay. There is a deer. But. Put yourselves up. We're bleeding. Oh, look, the sickness is gone. Tetracycline for the win. Before we 
to a desperate cook our chicken. Let's try and get the deer. How much room have we got in our inventory? Not much. We've picked up a lot of shit. I'm going to get rid of the Glock. So actually, I'm not going to go for the deer because we haven't got the capacity to carry it. I'm going to make a tactical decision here. Right, we've got bones that we can make into hooks. We've got rope. So now, I would be co we, I would be confident going inland, knowing that I can sustain myself. Clothing again, diabolical. You don't have to tell me. I've been playing this game long enough to know if I, if this was a serious run through, I would be looking a bit more thoroughly for better clothing. Another knife is fantastic. So we have found all the utility we need now to survive in land. We can fish. We've got a double barrel shotgun with rounds. Two in the barrel and four in our pocket. Okay, buckshot, which is actually better for close quarter. But we're going to keep the slugs in there now, which is a bit more range. And see, we came up this row of houses and we looted. There's the hospital. We're now going to head for this tree line over here. Okay, again, ignore the drip. We would, of course, be looking for better clothing if this was, like I say, a serious run. When we get up to the top here, and we can get into a tree, and we're not stood in the middle of a field, which is just asking to be sniped, we're going to wring our wet clothing out because it has stopped raining. Pointless doing it when it's raining, but now it has stopped raining. That will help us stave off a potential sickness again. Okay? I'm going to keep hydrated because our food and water is obviously going down. Remember, we've got the two chicken breasts to fall back on if we were absolutely desperate. But again, we're 32 minutes into our life and we're leaving the spawn town. Now, a lot of people won't leave the spawn town until they've got perfect clothing. A stab vest would have been nice. There were no there were no police around the upper PD, so they would go down to Lower Berezino. They'd be looking for a stab vest off a, off a PD down there, off a policeman down there. They might want to go to Kelm Summer Camp to find a CR rifle or a Blaze, if they're lucky. But for the purposes of this one-hour loot video, loot run video, I like to show... Like I did with the split low, right? What's, what's the quickest way to go inland? And do you need to be hanging around the spawn town for like an hour and a half, two hours before you move inland? Granted, you're going to be in a lot better position than our character is now in terms of clothing, etc. But there's a big caveat to that. The longer you stay in the spawn town, the bigger chance there is you're going to be clipped by someone. Either a geared guy who's got a base in the spawn town just loves killing fresh freshies or pretty much anyone he comes across so don't make the mistake of hanging around too long if you need food if you need to start a fire if you need to do some fishing yes you might end up yellow hunger you might even end up red hunger if you get out of dodge too soon but as long as you've got the ability to fish, etc., like we have, you're better off doing some fishing and getting a fire away from the spawn town than you are running around the spawn town finding all the cans of food known to man and trying to take them with you, in my opinion. I've actually got a lot more shit on me than I normally would carry. But our stamina is still, like, 95%. Because we've only got one gun and a pitchfork. The MK2 obviously is a pistol. And there we go, we finally get some pants. Good pants as well. And we're going to patch them up so that they're worn again. They give us the best insulation possible. They're white, which is not ideal. Stand out like a sore thumb, but beggars can't be choosers. Look at that. Best insulation, and immediately our temperature goes to white. Which, again, gives you a lot better chance of avoiding getting sick again. You hug the tree line. 
staying in it would be my advice rather than walking up the road stay in the tree line you can see the road still there it winds around so if we're, we're predicting the bend in the road basically and we're following it but we're staying in the cover of the trees yeah okay you could get attacked something could jump you from there as a gas bomb hits don't think that was gorka that may even been may even have been the little checkpoint that we were planning on going to but we'll see you still know the road is on your right hand side and you can see it's looping around to the left in a second and that's because it, it, these trees open up into a clearing and there's a house we can loot now there's also a house that be in there but we could cook this chicken in if we want get the heat buff completely dry our clothes and because we're only 35 minutes into our life that's what i'm going to attempt to do because we managed to get the fishing equipment sorted above schedule and a gun with the double barrel which has got six shots see the way that road loops around there's a shed in front of us there's a house behind those trees there's usually a few zombies around it okay i would normally take it wide and have a look make sure and look i say there's usually a few zombies around it there's no zombies okay someone's been through almost guarantee that someone's been through Are they even trapped a zombie, are they? Oh fuck. Okay, there goes our fire. We're not we're not we're not getting a fire in there. Three zombies trapped in there. So if you wanted evidence of people being of coming through, there's your evidence. Three zombies trapped in that one house. That's a pretty good job actually. Whoever did that. And it's starting to rain anyway, so it would have been pointless drying our clothes. So what I would do then whatever you want to do in that house or not do see the way the road goes i stay away from the road i come up to these trees because on the other side of these trees we're looking at now is a military checkpoint with two tents and i found all baby orgs there before m16s baby ak's obviously you could go in there and just find a box of 45 and a, a tactical vest but 100% whoever's coming up from Berezino this direction whoever trapped those Zeds who clearly knows what they're doing when they're trapping Zeds 100% they're going to check these tents out okay before going to Gorka and we're pretty much on someone's trail someone who's doing the same loop run as us and we haven't got any ballistic protection whatsoever so if we were to get into a gunfight now then we ain't getting to go we, we are not going to get to Gorka in the first hour but the ironic thing is we're only about five minutes away from Gorka. So I'm looking ahead. I'm trying to see if I can see anyone ducking about the tents, looting. To be honest, there could be someone just sat in the trees there with a Pioneer or a BK-18. Anything. Looking to snipe idiots like myself who come up here with no ballistic protection. What are we going to do? I know we're fighting that zombie, but I'm still I'm looking behind him. Is there anybody lurking? Didn't see anything obvious. Put him down. Haven't heard any gunshots yet. This zombie looks chill, mind, so... He's a tough bastard. Alright. Now he's not. I mean... Oh, it's ruined. Okay. I was going to say, if it wasn't, I would have taken that. Universal flashlight. Colt. With a mag in it. So it's a pistol that can back up our shotgun. A buttstock, which is no use to me. I picked up 45 as well. It's nice to have a, a decent pistol actually, I really like the Colt. 
It's just a shame it's only got a, a mag of seven. But at least we've got a backup to the shotgun now. I heard this guy. Sit down. A bit dangerous when there could be someone sniping in the woods, but... And look at that guy up there. See where he is? He's he, he could have wandered there with AI. But he could have been tracking someone as well who's been to the tents before us and they've run up the hill, which is exactly where we're going to go. So this person knows the exact same loot run or likes to use the exact same loot run as I do to get to Gorka. And that is then from the Millie tents, any way you like, up the hill. But as long as you're going uphill, you're going in the right direction. Okay? I know we haven't addressed the food. I don't know how many times I can say it really, but I'll reiterate it one last time. On a normal run, I'd probably stop and fish somewhere now before coming up here. But just for the purposes of showing you from the coast how close you are to one of the major hotspots where a lot of shit goes down. 41 minutes in. That's Gorka. Okay, there's a couple of farm buildings as you look up the main road. I'm just looking ahead to see if I can see our friend who trapped the three the three Zeds. I tend to always cut across here. Let's see those there's those buildings. Those buildings ahead, that's the main street going into Gorka. So 41 42 minutes after spawning. We're pretty much in Gorka. We're in the fields outside of Gorka. We haven't got any ballistic protection. But, for the purposes of the video, I don't mind. If we die, we die. Okay? If we get in a gunfight, they've got any sort of weapon, they've got a decent aim, we're probably fucked. Especially if they've got a stab vest, press vest. If they've been through the town before us, then they may have nipped in the PD that is here. And I always get very lucky in Gorka PD. I, I would say about 70% success rate finding a press vest. Maybe I'm just giving that a bit of a glow up, but... That's what it feels like, anyway. I always hug Gorka far left. And the, the hot spots in Gorka are obviously the police station, there's a medical centre, there's a hunting shop, and there's a well. And I don't want, I don't want to say it's 50% of the time, because it's not 50% of the time, but it feels like 50% of the time I come to Gorka, I get into an altercation with someone. And that's usually not a friendly one, either. Um, and if that's the case, this might be a bit shorter than an hour loop run video, but when I call it an hour loop run, what I really mean is an hour or less. Now, it's gassed. <laughs> so the gas was Gorka, okay. So we ain't going to be looting Gorka today. We can still show you the direction that we came from. Now, a lot of people tell me that this is true. About the same amount of people tell me it's not true. But I always take it that when you find fruit on the floor, when you find mushrooms in a field, it means a player has gone past and spawned that item. Some people tell me that when you see gas like that, it's because a player was in the vicinity. Not too long ago either. So if, if that is the case, the person who trapped the three zombies in the house back there came into town, then there was a gas bomb, now, they were either still in town, and they then had to run for the hills, quite literally, to get away from the gas. They either did that perfectly within time, they might have noticed the red flare that gives you a warning that the gas is coming, and they might have got out fine. They might have been caught in the gas, and got gas poisoning. Therefore, they might be on the other side of this gas, dying or dead. So we're bearing that in mind as we skirt around the gas. Okay? Now, there's a couple of buildings here that are not in the gas. But unfortunately, they're not the good buildings. They're not the PD. But, you know, you'd have to be very unlucky to follow this route and get the same outcome as I've just got. I. Granny's going to get to me first, I believe. Okay. My aim was a bit off there. 
put them down. Oh, could have had some food for us, couldn't you, ladies? Skirt real wide, because sometimes the gas doesn't spawn in correctly. Let's just have a breather by here a second. Now, if, like me, you've come up to Gorka, you've got the ability to fish, you've got the ability to light a fire, but you really want to still loot Gorka because you haven't got any ballistic protection. You've only got a few shots in your shotgun and a few shots in a pistol. So you still really want to hit that PD, you want to hit the medicine shop, the medical. But you can't because it's gassed. It would be a good time then to go fishing and there's some nice streams in that direction where I'm facing now. I think that's a skinned animal. to push my luck a little bit. Look down into the gas. Just want to show you it. Anyway, there's the PD. There's the medical. The well is straight in front of the medical. The hunting shop is just behind this double building here. But a good use of our time because if you got here and you were like, oh no, I want to, I really want to loot all those nice buildings, the medical, the, the PD. There's a little hunting stand down there, the hunting shop. I need to hit the well for water. Well, you can either, you could do two things. Cook up the chickens. That's what we're going to do. In this building, once we've cleared it. Because someone could have the same idea as me. Wait out the gas. And also, on a lot of servers you'll play. Nice rags there. Once the gas dissipates and goes, the little gas bombs are left behind. The little glass vials. And usually it's two in the middle of the street they'll be as well. They won't be hidden. They'll be easy to see. And you can use those then on players, of course. You know, you see a player camped in a building, gas him to death, chuck the bottle in through the window, through a door, whatever, just hit the wall outside and it'll seep through the walls. More bones towards fishing hooks. And what I would do here... Drop everything we're going to need for the fire. Got a stick by here for the fuel. And use the time wisely to either cook up the chickens you've caught, like we managed to catch two, so just cook them up. We're starving. It's going to be quicker than waiting to fish. You can cook them up, dry your clothes, and then go fishing if it's still gassed. And I'm hoping it is, because what I want to do is show you the nearest spot to fish then. And then you can use that. can use the town as a reference and the building we're in now as the how to get to you know the quickest fishing area open our ammo gives you paper you can use as the kindling spark up your flare then it'll give you a prompt to ignite light your fire we've got sick again as well so, good time for us to be getting in front of a fire, drying off, taking a tetra. All our clothes off. Shotgun in our hand, ready to protect ourselves. You know, the person who was in front of us, they may have already looted town and just got out of dodge. But I'm intrigued 
did they die you know did they have a lot of loot a lot of nice things that we could use did they die in the gas that's another good reason for sticking around and even if we don't stick around as close as this once our clothes are dry and once our chicken is cooked maybe we go fishing cook our fish up you know in reality i wouldn't be on a time frame of an hour i can do what i want you know i can go away for half an hour come back gas hundred uh, hundred percent dissipated we've got the tetra working for us and now we've got food working for us we're replenishing the food that red apple will turn yellow again very soon. Our health bar will start going up instead of down. And even if it is raining outside, the fact that we've now dried our clothes and our backpack. Let's get this chicken down us. Wait for the plus symbol to go on our temperature so we've got the, the heat buff. I'm listening out in case I can hear aggro. There's the heat buff. So you come out of here. Risky checking in there without your gun drawn, but whatever. Look, fruit. So our player did come out of town. They've probably headed on up to... Probably up there. Probably gone up to Alta. Check out Ra Radio Zenith for any hunting gear that might spawn there. That is a good, good plan. A good next place to go from here. And then after that, there's a castle just beyond it, which you will see from Radio Zenith pretty much. And obviously you can get hunting gear, potentially rifles up at the castle. And like I said, you're not far at all now from Novi Stari. You're about 20 minutes IRL jog from Novi Stari. <laughs> but like I say, if you're not happy with your food, we want to get it up higher than yellow. We want to do some fishing. We want the gas to dissipate so we can go back into Gorka. And I would jog to preserve your food, your nutrition. I wouldn't sprint, but for the purposes of the video, we'll sprint. If you head through these trees we lost the tower here we know we know town is that way where you can see the gas there so you want the tree line then away and then you need to get a little bit lucky as long as you're going away from town you can use this as a as a marker if you like this this road as long as you're going away from town, you go in pretty much east, your eventual destination is going to be up that way. And you will eventually get to a tree line that then goes downhill. Okay? Which I think is this one over here. Remember, there's our gas town. You can still see Gorka behind you. So move away to the, fr to the east of Gorka. If you wanted to kill some time or you, your food situation wasn't great, you've run up here quickly like I did without doing a lot about your food. You know, we've got rid of our second sickness there, by the way. Look, the symbol's gone. There's the tower for Radio Zenit. So you need your, if you need your bearings, our next destination is going to be up there. People say, oh, I, I just, I can never get rid of sicknesses. It takes me ages. What did that one take? 15 minutes? 10 minutes? Not even that. As long as you're heading downhill now, away from Gorka, there are a couple of things you can look out for. Radio Zenith's on your left-hand side, okay? That's what you need. That's what you need to keep in mind at all times. So you keep Radio Zenith on your left-hand side, and then start when you when you get to the edge of the hill, and there's a real steep gradient. Start looking down the hill. Okay, and look, look what we can see. 
A stream. A stream. Okay. Now, do we want to be on? Do we want to be near the intersection there, where anybody can come out and get us? No. We want to be down, tucked in, tucked away somewhere nice. Okay. Now remember, Radio Zenit is up there. That's going to be our next destination. Gorka is back up the hill there. If we want to go back after the gas has gone, but look where we are now. A stream. If somebody was to spot us here, we would have to be extremely unlucky. We've got our rope. We've got plenty of little trees around us to use to make a make a fire. I would I would probably fish here. Okay, I would catch two fish. I would cut them up, and I would make a campfire by here, and I'd cook them right by here, just sat in the trees. And if, like I say, if you get spotted and sniped, then good luck to the person who does it. But, you know, I've got my bones, so I can easily make my improvised bone hooks. And one bone hook will be enough for now, because it'll give us a pristine bone hook if you play an official or vanilla community. Alright, so there's our hook. We've got blades, the sickle, and the steak knife to dig up worms. We add the rope to a stick, we've got a fishing rod, we get our food, and then we go back up and loot Gorka, try and get ourselves a ballistic vest, maybe get some more ammo for the shotty, maybe instead of the, the badly damaged colt, we find ourselves an M-lock with a mag and it's pristine or worn, and we go with that instead. You know, we got some medical supplies, we got stuff to fix up our equipment, we've got bits and pieces of ammo, we've got a suppressed pistol that's pristine that's only chambered at the minute but it's still nice to be able to put a Z down silently with one to the head some rags rags that are disinfected we've still got a full bandage and one use on this one plenty of ammo for our for our 22 as well a box and a bit there sharpening stone so when our sickle gets damaged like it is we can bring it back up to worn and as long as we've got this sharpening stone and it's got a use or two on it, we're never going to be needing to look for more blades because we can just fix up these two. When we do find a vest, if it's damaged, we can fix it up with the leather kit. And the bones we can use for to make a bone knife. We can use two of them to make a bone knife or some more hooks down the road. Our clothing's not great. Medium insulation, best, high. Our backpack is damaged. We don't want it to ruin so that if we take it off we can't put it back on so while we're sitting here again waiting for the gas to dissipate in Gorka before we start fishing we might as well tarp that back up to worn our zombie killer is only worn and our double barrel shotgun is worn but I hope that's helped it's particularly very very new daisy players to see when they hear about running inland you know, going to places and getting in gunfights in Gorka and thinking, well, hang on a minute, it's taking me three hours to get out of Berezino. It really doesn't need to. As long as you get the essentials. Ability to fish, blades, something to protect yourself with, a decent zombie killer, a backpack. Ideally, the best clothing you can get. Rags, so you can at least make gloves and have backup bandages. You might get a bandage or two. And things like chlorine are a bit of a bonus codeine you definitely need fire lighting equipment so you're going to need a box of matches a lighter or a couple of flares otherwise you're going to have to get lucky when you get to Gorka and find those things which you, you probably could do but yeah it's just a particularly pleasant run of mine that I, I do enjoy doing and that's the key is get out of the spawn area as fast as you can with the bare minimum equipment you need to survive when you're not in a big city and you know you need to make a fireplace in the middle of nowhere you need to fish in the middle of nowhere for your food you can't rely on finding cans in houses but if you do enjoy it and you'd like to see more one hour examples of various loot runs on Shinaris and Livonia drop me a comment drop a like uh, it shows that it, the videos are at least useful 
if not massively entertaining. I know there's no PvP, but there's no PvP chadness on this channel anyway. It's mainly about the survival element of Daisy, and hopefully I've showed you a good way to survive your first hour. And if you haven't subbed and you consider subscribing, you'll see more of this shizzle. But apart from that, we're just over the hour. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Peace out.